friends, and welcome back to Geeks Under Grace Plays Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi, and in this episode, let's see, we've already done two pyramids, so let's do a third one. Which one should we do? Let's do that one, the step pyramid, because it's fun. Um, what? Okay. Let's see. Is there more than one way into this place? I seem to remember there being two doors. Oh, oh, I remember now. Never mind. It's an entrance and an exit. Just did this like five minutes ago. What am I doing? Okay. Let's jump and not make it. Oh, crud, we're gonna die. It's totally worth it to spend those feathers in order to make it out of there alive. Okay, let's see if we can uh, replenish our health just a little bit. There's some, there's a beehive back there. Okay. Man, I didn't think I would... Well, it is mid-game. It should be getting difficult at this point, right? Nice little learning curve. There we go. No, no, run, run, run. Run away, run away. You can make it. All right, so... We, oh, that's not really what I meant to do, because we don't have enough time. Well, we're going to run out of time. Okay, I forgot that that's actually just a step switch, not a jump on, or a pound switch, whatever you call it. It's a normal pet pressure switch, it doesn't take high pressure. Okay, so here's the shoes that I was looking for earlier. Uh, three, two, one, done. And I think Grunty's going to say a rhyme, yep. Grunty's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. Well, I just so happen to have some faster feet right here. Everybody knows that running shoes make you faster. There we go. And we got to run to the top of the pyramid. And I like how this is a step pyramid. It's not your standard uh, quadrilateral pyramid. Oh no, I messed up. I am not going to make it. Because you barely have enough time to make it. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Darn it. Well, on the way down, at least we can collect all the goodies. I think. Yeah, I'm low on feathers. And of course, we need notes. Also, gotta ha have those notes. So, um, feathers, thank you. And notes. And feathers. And a... Good, there we go. And note. If only they represented a ziggurat in this game also. That would be pretty cool, huh? Alright, let's get some faster feet and make our way to the top of the pyramid. Yet again. I really wish this cutscene didn't have to play every single time, but it does. I think we have no control over the camera in this section also. Totally forgot about jumping up the ramps to a shortcut. And we made it with a whole second to spare. <laughs> it's nuts. Alright. Well, let's dive. So that seems to be the only thing we can do right now. Um can't we have no water attacks. I think I have explained that before. But interestingly enough, when you collect the jiggy. All the water drains out because magic. But at least it makes the spot outside that central pyramid a little bit safer. Just a little bit. And these guys, these guys, ugh, they're so annoying. The only way you can properly defeat them is actually with a Wonder Wing. And I've still only got 10 feathers, so I really don't feel like dealing with them right now. I'm full on red feathers, but I'm never going to come back. So, might as well head on out. 
this would be where you collect the the Momo token normally, but now I think is there something we can do down here? I can't remember. Oh yes, there's notes down here <laughs> and Momo token. Everybody loves swimming. Right? I don't think there was enough water in that pyramid, that step pyramid, to actually fill up this spot. Oh, of course, I'm missing every other thing. Come on, camera, work with me here, please. And thank you. Oh, there's a Jinjo. Don't collect that one last. I almost didn't take my own advice. <laughs> Collected him second to last. Uh, is that everything? Not quite. Okay, well, let's let's surface. I think that might have been everything, actually. But I start getting really worried when I've only got two bits of air left. I think we did get everything. I don't know if I've explained this before, but I almost always hold R when swimming or flying because it just makes the camera uh, stay behind you better. You also turn sharper, but it, you get used to it. <laughs> uh, am I at full health? No, I'm not. Um, oh, hello, B. Uh, B! There we go. Stealing Nintendo Capri Sun's lines since 2010, I think. Why do I have boots here? I can't remember the exact reason for the boots. Might be notes here? No, not really. I guess it's a safer way to get to this guy. Hello, Mr. Camelman. <gasps> it's too hot, Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. So you're the Gobi of Gobi's Desert. Well, do you know what the... Or this is Gobi's Valley. I keep getting them mixed up. The Gobi Desert is a real place. Hey, there happened to be a Jiggy inside that. Who's your reward, bear? Gobi's off to something. I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to make him sound like... Or, 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 here's your reward. Had to think of how he sounded in game. Come up with a proper voice for him. Okay. Mm. Carpet. Come back, please, please. Pause. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. And we're stuck. That's great. That's just great. All the fun. All the fun. All the time. Never stop. Dance pot here. Okay, I forget that the, the carpet dematerializes for a second. But, we made it here safely. Let's collect some notes. Because I've, as I've explained before, it's what you do. Oh, no, no, no. Don't fall off. You know what? It would be much safer just to go over here. Camera, please cooperate. He already got those notes. Okay, cool. And jump. There we go. And I think... Yeah, there should be some more stuff. For instance... Come on. The green Jinjo. We've got all five now. Awesome, awesome. Um, this should make... A, an empty honeycomb up here, right there. Remember, I thought there was something there. Was it in the last episode, or maybe the one before that? Okay. Now, there's a trick to opening up this place. You want to bounce off the pad when you do your beak buster, and kind of land down the pyramid. So you hold the stick, kind of like that. And you'll end up almost at the door already, because you'll notice you only have 10 seconds to make it in the door, and once the cutscene is over, it's really 5. So, the game really punishes you for not knowing beforehand what to do. Like I said, these guys can only be defeated with a Wonder Wing, and that guy is actually worth it to take out. Because you're going to be in this room for a little while. Am I low on health? Yes. I need one more. Let's grab the Mumbo token. Come on. Here we go. 
And let's play a little game here. This is a memory game. And I can never remember the actual the tiles in this game. I always have to start in the corner and remember that it's yes, it's Mumbo Egg, Jinjo Jinjo, Red Feather Note. Okay. There's Banjo and Honey. Start over here. Always work your way from left to right. There's Kazooie and Red Feather. Now you have plenty of time to make those mistakes. They give you 99 seconds, I believe. And this is uh, Mumbo, and we saw him first. There we go. We're actually starting to see some pairs here. There's a Kazooie, and I think this over here was also a Kazooie. Yep. And right here is a note, and I believe up here was the note. Nope, that was the honey. This is the note. Nope, that's Banjo. Well, let's move on to the next tile. Which just so happens to be Banjo. And there's a honey. And here's a honey. And so this should be a blue egg. And up here's a blue egg. And so here's the note. Too many yellow things. And there's the other note. Very cool. We've got eight out of ten jiggies so far. We're doing really well. <sighs> we got a few more minutes. What else can we do? Um, so the shoes, the speedy shoes, I forget what they were actually called. Whatever. Um, they're up there on the hill. Right. And so if we can jump the gap, I think we can get the next Jiggy. And it's, whoops, not exactly the easiest thing to do. Yeah, we made the gap. Oh, come on, jump, jump, jump. But you have to be fast in order to beat that guy. Dang it. Come on. But we did it. There we go. No, I've had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. Yes. Did it on my second try. I'm surprised, actually. If, if you run up to him with your regular Kazooie legs, you're not fast enough. And you're definitely not fast enough with just Bancho. So that's why the boots are there. I forgot about these notes over here. Let's collect those notes. And... I kind of want to finish this ep this level in the episode, so that way next week we're playing a different world. I think I'm going to go to a little bit longer this time, then. Because this should be episode 18, if I'm not mistaken. We have time to make that mistake, don't we? No? Wow. We don't have time to make that mistake. Let's try this again. Zui moves a lot slower in the boots, but I suppose you would be too if you were wearing knee-high boots. Oh, and that's all 100 notes. I thought there were only a few left. Thank you, Bottles, for being so encouraging in all that you do. Um, so we freed Gobi. Where did he run off to? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Head on out of the level. Oh, there's Gobi. Sir, you look like you've got plenty of water. <gasps> this, tr this tree looks a bit thirsty. I need all my water for myself. Well, too bad, because Banjo is a big, fat, lazy, meanie, jerky, Get on his back. Fine. I guess we can't stand on his back. There we go. All the adjectives. <laughs> ah, lovely water. Trunka feels so great. Stretch. There we go. Forget, can we climb him? No, we can't. Can we jump? No. I don't know why there's a pair of shoes here at the beginning of the level. They're not very useful sitting there. This is what we do. 
There we go. And we found all 10 Jiggies. I totally forgot that that was the 10th one. Uh, we got all 100 notes. We got 10 Jiggies. I think we only got one empty honeycomb? No, we, we, we didn't get either one. There's another one that I am missing. Hmm... I know the one in the cactus. So where's... Oh, I know where the other one is. Don't want to give it away just... Okay. Don't want to give it away just yet is what I was trying to say. I know where it is, though. It's actually... Yeah, we can fly there, in fact. That's what we're going to do. But we need to go through the cactus with the honeycomb in it. Which is where? Which is where? There's a cactus. I cannot remember where anything is in the air. And of course, nothing really renders when you're far away from it. Um, getting lost. That's what I do really well. had a beach trip at the uh, beginning of the week. Today's Thursday. We went on Monday. Ah, there we go. I made it through without getting hurt. But anyway, I got lost like four times coming home on the beach trip. It was ridiculous. Anyway, we are heading to a super secret area. Which should be over here. And I decided to fly there for reasons. There's plenty of red feathers hanging about. Alright. Hello, Gobi. Nice to see you here. Last time we jumped on your back for water. What do we get this time? We get an empty honeycomb. Oh, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. And he just runs down the side of the hill. Anyway, carpet, you have impeccable timing. That one-up is not worth it. Repeat, not worth it. Alright, so since we're here, we might as well collect some gold feathers that you might have noticed were... Oh, come on. Almost. Hanging out on his shoulders. On... What is this guy's name? I can't remember. But anyway, since we spent some gold feathers earlier, we might as well collect a few. we go. We are almost full. I only need one more. Good thing I know where there is one more. Right down here. That's why I don't collect everything when I see it. Because I know that I just might need it. And there we go. That is the level. So I think that's going to do it for this episode of Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, what is this called? Geeks Under Grace plays Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media. Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Go ahead and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Uh, and you can find me on all the internets also. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be blessed.